My name is Joe Depont. I'm the owner of CNC Fiberglass for North Coast Boats. I immigrated to the States back in 1973, and I always have a passion to be a boat builder, and my dream came true. Uh, when I got to the States, I started working for other companies, and I always wanted to be doing something on my own. And we started our business back in 98. And we started building North Coast. And after that, my two kids start growing up and they helped me a lot. They want to be in a the business. They want to keep the business going bigger and bigger. And that's what we're doing. We first started with North Coast. Um, I was actually still in high school. I'd come into the shop after school and it started from sweeping floors and I was quickly promoted to waxing hull molds. It just kind of grew. Being the family business, you were kind of uh, responsible for doing a little of everything. Building different stages of the boat was something that came as a reward, you know? You want to uh, lay fiberglass, you better learn how to wax the mold first. I, my dad was my teacher, basically. So after school, in, in high school, I'd basically come in and continued to do it through college. Once I graduated college in 04, then it was just full-time coming into the business, taking over more of the running of the business and not so much building anymore. I had graduated to an office desk job, if you will. I'm a production manager for the North Coast Line, so I oversee uh, about eight, eight guys, ranging from mechanics, electricians, plumbers, uh, hardware guys, assembly guys, we're the ones responsible for assembling all of North Coasts from the mold room forward. The boat I run is a 28-foot uh, North Coast center console. It's the 280. I built it, yeah. I actually built it. I kind of put my own little twist on it. I know what I do with them, and I know what other people do with them. And I know that these things have got to be bulletproof. We see trial the 285 the other day, twin Yami 3s on it, and it's a 57 mile an hour, you know, hard top, and it's, it's enormous. It's good for me, for the background of the build, and it's what I try to influence these guys, you know, building them. I tell them, you know, you, you've got to make it bulletproof. There's always going to be somebody out there trying to do something they're not supposed to be, and the boat, the boat has to be ready for it, and knock on wood, we're, we're, we're good so far, so. Our buyers really put the brand to where it is. It's downright fishing. It's a solid built boat that's going to withstand the sea that you put it through. And you're going to be able to catch fish on it. It's so solid built. It's so rugged. Known for its really high gunnels. Standing on the back of a 20 foot center council, our 210, you can go out and land tuna. We have customers that are on 235s and, and they're taking the boat places I wouldn't even dream of it. I can sit here and, and speak about the brand, but our customers do that because they're the ones really pushing what the boat is supposed to be doing. They're really fishing our boats hard. Currently we employ 35 employees and our shop is made up of everyone from mechanics to fiberglass laminators, carpenters. We have some of the best skilled guys in the area building products that are really being used in really tough seas and stuff like that. And it's, it's really important that the employees here love what they do. And uh, we really couldn't be developing the boats and launching the products we are without our employees. We start with like an 18-foot skiff we went to 19, a 24, then after that was a 23, then we built a 26, and now we're building this, is the biggest one we build right now is a 285, which is a fishing boat, and that's what we try to maintain and, and do the best is fishing boats. We do recreation boats, but our main thing is fishing, and we got some experience. We've been on the water many times, me and my kids, and actually my kids will grow up in the, in the water. Striper cups, pumps for some of the years, and we were off a couple of years, now we're back in again this year. 
you know, when we, we did the Striper Cup years ago and coming back in last year was just awesome for us. So from Worcester, Massachusetts. I mean, you can't even put it into words. Last year when, when you pull the name and uh, Paul Saucier comes up. Paul Saucier! Paul Saucier! I mean, just him and his son, the look on their face. And I'll never forget having my arm around him to take the picture from on the water uh, up on stage. Paul was like shaking up there. He was just completely shaking. You just can't make it up. He, he shares a story with you where it's like, last week I almost put a deposit on a boat and I came to Striper Fest and I had no idea what was gonna happen and here I am leaving with the boat. And he called us a week later and he goes, it finally hit me that I won a boat. Because he goes, leaving there that day, it was still surreal. It, it's just, it's awesome, that part of it. And he's up there with, with his young son and it was great, you know, looking at the smile on his son's face and they came to the shop and they have done a, a factory tour and oh, they're gonna upgrade right away. Just knowing that you can make that dream come true for people and being involved and adding a new customer to the North Coast family, you can't put a value on it and you can't put, a, you can't put words on the emotion that you feel giving it away. It's just a great feeling. Hopefully, I see North Coast keep going the way we're going now. I mentioned to the kids a couple of times, look, you know, this might be my last project because, you know, I'm not younger anymore. So I got two kids, Caesar and Craig. They're both very interested in the business. They're doing a good job, and I'm very happy. Me and my wife, we were very lucky we got two kids to take over because when you create something, Sometimes I know you can turn around, sell out, and make your money, but it's not the same feeling when you create something from the beginning. You don't want to sell it, you don't want to see it going away, you want to see it keep going, and that's the lucky I have was got two sons to take over and grow with it, yeah. And they're doing a good job. North Coast is definitely growing, it's going to continue to grow. My brother and I are now second generation with North Coast. We're in a position where we want it to be something that we can hand off to our families and, and um, you know, maybe third generation and see what happens with the line. <laughs>